Hey y'all, how we doing today? I just want to come on here for a minute and let y'all know that we did a petition signing event today in Benton in Saline County, Arkansas, and just wanted to say that we had some people that still were not aware of the petitions that are going around that we're trying to gather signatures for. We have until July 5th is when we have to turn the signatures in to the Secretary of State to verify all of them and to see if we can make it on the ballot. There are six different ballot measures that we are working to gather signatures for. There's actually a couple more ballot measures that I'm not associated with, but you know, they're good though. They're good. So, I mean, I signed the, the casino one. Um, you know, that's Pope, Pope County. They're, they're trying to they want us to be able to decide for Polk County. Like, come on, just sign it, let them decide, because they're the only ones that get to vote on it, you know, in their county to have a casino or not. I mean, that's their business. I don't know why the state has to make it our business. But anyway, so we have some really important things that we're trying to get on the ballot here in Arkansas. And um, so the first one that I want to talk about today is the Educational Rights Amendment. I'm sure all of you heard about the LEARNS Act. Well, the LEARNS Act has a lot of things in it that we don't agree with. Most of us don't agree with. Like public dollars are going to private schools, religious schools. Not, all, not everybody has a religion. I personally do have a religion, but I believe that the, if they are wealthy enough to be able to pay for their kid to get into a private school, that's on them. They can go right ahead and do that. But my tax dollars don't need to be going to that. And anyway, so they, this group came together and they're, they've put something called the Arkansas Educational Rights Amendment of 2024. We're doing a ballot measure for that. So what it would do is, for one, it would create free, voluntary access to for the most powerful proven boost to learning, it says. Some information from the group. One, it would give universal pre-K to three and four year olds, after school and summer programs, education support for kids in poverty, quality special education, it will establish the minimum ac academic standards for Arkansas schools for things like It would also require all schools that accept state taxpayer funds to follow the same rules and standards. Also, we have another one. And so let me tell you, the website to go to that, to look, do your research or whatever, is called 4FORARKids.org. The next one, of course, is the one we have all heard about. It's the Arkansas Abortion Amendment. It would make sure that we have exceptions for rape, incest, and fatal fetal anomaly, if I said that correctly. So right now we don't have exceptions for rape or incest. Democrats in Arkansas actually introduced a bill to put exceptions for rape and incest in Arkansas and Republicans voted against it this past year. So we're putting it on the ballot to let the people of Arkansas decide whether that's what we want or not. And if you want to learn more about that, their website is called arliberty.org. You can also find signing locations on their website. We have another petition. It's an act to exempt sales and use tax from feminine hygiene products and diapers, which is self-explanatory, really. It would get rid of the sales and use tax from feminine hygiene products and diapers, not just baby diapers, but adult diapers as well. We also have the Arkansas uh, Medical Marijuana Amendment of, of 2024, which would make it easier to get a medical card.